Hello, my dear first graders. How are you today? It's me, Miss Maral, and this is our art lesson today. So, for today's art lesson, I want to introduce you my friend. His name is Mickey, and he's my friend at home. He's going to help me. Say hi to Mickey. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> hi, guys. Alright, if you also have a friend like Mickey, you can ask him to help us for today's art lesson. Okay, Mickey is sitting here and we are going to get ready for our art class. So, first material we're going to need. Mickey, can you hold my watercolor? Yeah, Miss Morel. Alright, thank you, Mickey. So, our uh, first material is watercolor. I'm sure you have already at home. And next, we're going to need a paper can be any kind of paper. We're gonna need some water and a thick brush and we are going to need a marker. It can also be a pencil or a pen and we're gonna need a plastic straw. Okay, so if you're uh, ready and if you're getting ready with your materials, um, let's remember something we already learned Let's remember primary colors. Do you guys remember which were the primary colors? Think about it. Think, think, think. All right, primary colors. So I can hear some of you saying yellow. Yes, yellow is our first primary color. What is our second primary color, guys? Mm, think, think. Oh yeah, I can already hear you. Red. Go ahead, yes. Okay, what was our third primary color? The last primary color. Yes, guys, it was blue. Good job. Okay, so what happens when we mix primary colors, guys? Do you remember that? Yes, correct. Secondary colors. Do you remember the secondary colors? What happens when we mix yellow and red together? Do you remember that? Yes! What happens when we mix red and yellow is orange! Good job, guys! You're doing really good. So what happens when we mix blue and red? Yeah, purple. There is a beautiful purple. And last but not least, what happens when we mix ye blue and yellow? Gonna mix it here. Yes, green. Awesome job, guys. Now we remember primary colors. Repeat, yellow, red, and blue. What was the secondary colors? Orange, purple, and green. Good job, guys. Good job with remembering all these. Okay, let's grab an other paper, a white blank paper. Okay, we're gonna create some colors, some secondary colors here. And we're gonna do it with a very unusual way, with a straw. Okay, I just dip my brush into water and I take some yellow and just drop some color droplets on your paper, just like that. Just hit, 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 but don't touch your paper. Just leave the droplets on your paper. If it's too dry, just dip your brush in the water a little bit more make it more watery. Obviously your brush is quite thirsty today. <laughs> Just more droplets if you will. Okay, I'm gonna add a second color which is red because I want to create what? Yes, orange. Okay, some red droplets on my paper. Again, if it's too dry, just dip your brush in the water. Okay, we're gonna need a straw now. So I'm gonna put my mouth one of the sides and the other side near the paper. Again, like this side on my mouth 
in this side near the paper and I'm gonna blow 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 keep blowing as hard as I can and mix the colors with the straw with blowing from the straw and you can just flip paper turn around your paper and keep blowing with different angles and blow as hard as you can <sighs> Okay, I'm done with blowing and I created some beautiful shades of orange. Now it's time to clean my desk. I don't like a messy desk. You can also clean your desk. Mm -hmm. Easy to clean because it's watercolor. Okay, so I created some orange, different shades of orange. Oh, we don't need the watercolor anymore. Thank you for holding it, Mickey. You're welcome, Miss Moreau okay <laughs> so orange is here and i also created some purple with mixing red and blue and some green with mixing blue and yellow you can just do several of them mixing any colors you want just try and see what happens when you mix colors okay here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a marker and look around and try to find some shapes on these random colors here we go i can see a bee here let me show you my bee do you see this there's the wings there's the stripes <laughs> it's a bee over here and look around you can flip your page turn it around and try to find different shapes animals just anything you want just let your imagination work you see there is my crab there is his legs <laughs> okay guys it's all for today's art lesson you go ahead and try doing this try finding different shapes on your uh, color marks on your colors so let me know what happens when you try this you can send me pictures you can show me your creations thanks for listening me say bye to mickey <laughs> bye guys okay thanks for your help mickey <laughs> and see you guys next